my informative speech is about baseball. And my first topic is the mental game within baseball. So this is a quote by a famous baseball player named Yogi Berra. Um, it says, this game is 90% mental. The other half is physical. So that just shows how much baseball is a mental game. Baseball is what they call a game of failure. So the best hitters in the world have a 300 batting average. That means they get a hit three out of 10 times. In any other sport, that's terrible. But in baseball, that's a good batting average, which just goes to show how much failure is involved in baseball. Um, for that purpose, unwavering confidence is needed to play well. So because there's so much failure involved, you have to, a player has to be super confident in the face of failure. So they can be super confident in themselves as a hitter and then strike out or not get a hit. And then they have to have that same confidence in themselves as a hitter because next time they go up, they might not get a hit again. But only with confidence can you, tur can you turn that around. So confidence is very important, especially when hitting because there's so much failure involved. Um, an example of this is a famous baseball player. His name is Reggie Jackson. And he was famous for talking to himself out loud in the baddest box. So he would go up there and, and say, you're the man, Reggie, in the third person. And even when he would strike out, he would walk back to the dugout saying, you're still the man, Reggie, you're still the man, which is very funny. But it just goes to show how much confidence is needed to hit. Continue. So different coping mechanisms include self-talk, like you just heard Reggie Jackson in the third person, um, alter egos. So some players will come up with an alter ego for themselves to stay confident. So a baseball player named Mike Schmidt used to pretend he was Roberto Clemente, who's another baseball player for, before his time when he was hitting. This is a Hall of Famer pretending he's another person to psych himself up to get ready to hit. Um, mental training. So a lot of players go through, um, they work with sports psychologists, um, even hypnotherapists, things like that, to, to get their mind right to play. Um, the difference between major and minor leaguers is often mental. As many coaches will tell you, there's very little difference in physical skill level between the major leagues, where, where the minimum salary is $535,000 a year, and the minor leagues, which most players get paid under $10,000 a year. So mental side of baseball is, most, is probably the most important thing in my opinion. And preparation leads to confidence. So the more prepared you are, the more ready you are to hit, the more work you put in, then the more confident you will be in your ability to hit. Speaking of that, the next component is hitting. Many people call it the hardest thing to do in sports. You're hitting a round ball with a round bat, coming at 95 to 100 miles an hour with all types of movement. Um, so it's very difficult to do. Uh, most hitters, most high level hitters hit every day for this purpose because it's so hard and because their swing mechanics have to be perfect for them to hit well. So everybody thinks about hitting differently, but most people have the same general principles in hitting. Most people think about at least some degree of rotation, getting their bat behind the ball, things of that nature, Sequ sequence in the hitting, things like that. Um, approaches and individual dobs within a game has to do with a team strategy. So speaking of that, in-game strategy is also a big part of baseball. Um, so if a hitter has an individual job to do, say he has to, say there's a runner on second and he has to hit the ball in a certain place for him to score, things of that nature, pitching matchups. So. A lot of lefties don't hit lefties well because there aren't a lot of lefty hitters. So pit coaches will put pitchers in based on certain hitters. And then managers will employ plays on offense and defense to either try to score runs or try to prevent runs, like bunt coverages or bunting in the offense. Thank you.